Today, I'm going to give my cat trike a front end alignment. And the tools I'll be using are a few wrenches. I have some old radio antennas. This is going to help me measure the distance between the front and the back. And a yardstick. This yardstick happens to have metric, but any good measuring device, tape measure, will do the trick. The first thing I'll do is I will loosen up the jam nuts by holding the arm and taking my 14 and loosening there we go and I will do the same to the other side Now what I'll do is just make sure my wheels are put visually straight. I watched some videos where they measure from the boom to the wheel here. They try to get one wheel square and then adjust it that way. Never felt the need to do that. The method I've been using here with my antennas does a really good job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this somewhere around the center of the hub. Just get it to where it touches. And I'm using basically the center of the rim. And if it's a little cocked, try to get it as level as you can. But I do more of an eyeball thing to it. Really close. So this one will stay in place. Do the same with the back. I ended up making these little, I forgot what they came off, these little L bends. You don't need them. You can, it just makes it so I can center it a little easier. I'm going to go underneath and see if I can get it close. And I basically measure the difference between the two. So this one measures just about, just shy of, come on, looks 68 millimeters, but my phone's not. Focusing. There we go. That's 680. We'll call that 679 millimeters. And that's the back. The front should be 
a millimeter narrower or two millimeters narrower. We will find out and then we will adjust accordingly. And it looks to be exactly the same. So actually, that's actually really good. And even toe in. But when I sit on it, I have a feeling that there's just a little bit of flex. And how you would adjust, let me get my phone situated here. Ah. There we go. Is you would twist this and thumb forward will give you more toe in, back will give you less. So what I'm going to do is I kind of went forward and back, I'll have to remeasure it. I'm going to come forward and uh, we will remeasure it. Most of the times I just don't sit it there like that, but that's okay. We're going to leave it there and see how lucky I get and see if I don't knock it off. <laughs> I definitely made the back here wider. And now I'll go measure them. to adjust it again. I'm going to back it off compared to where I was. And then I'm just going to take the lock nut and just thumb it up, get, get all the jiggle out. Make sure the wheels are straight. At least I straight. I'm not going to, I don't get too picky there. We will do this again. I know I have to shorten this up somehow. Right, there we go. We will find out. All right. I am going to just re-loosen these just here by hand. Give it that just a hair of adjustment. Let's see if we can't. actually put finer threads on it, it would be easier to get that perfect adjustment that I'm shooting for. Okay. There is one.
All right, that came up about six seventy nine and a half. I think that's it. So this one should be a hair shorter now. And that gets up to... I need better glasses. 678 plus. I think we're, I think we're pretty good. Now I'm going to tighten up everything. I'm just going to snug it. I don't want to throw any adjustments off. Maybe I'll do it from this side. Do the other side. One of the last things that I do is I sit on the trike and I recheck my adjustments. Um, sometimes you might have to add toe or take toe out depending on rider weight. Uh, I have found that I don't weigh enough, but uh, I try. I do this anyways just to make sure. Okay. Try to come around near the axle, somewhere to the center of the axle, and uh, the back one's a little trickier because you can't see where you're going. You always come under the seat. Same thing, I, I get somewhere around the center of the axle. And we pull it out, just gotta be careful not to. Yep, let's do that again, I knocked it. I'll pull it out the other direction. Nope, oh, didn't go up. Let's, let's check our adjustment, or let's check our measurement. The front should always be a hair shorter. And that is just shy of 679. And that is right at 680. So I think that is where I'm going to lock it down. So it was tighter when I was off the trike, but when I sit on it, it gets me right to about a millimeter. That should be just fantastic. that I have my adjustment pretty perfect for my needs. I am going to lock this down. Bam, there you go. I'm using a 14 millimeter on the lock nut and an 11 millimeter on the 
extending arm. A 9 16 fits a little looser, but we'll still do the job.